The death of Queen Elizabeth II has triggered an outpouring of grief from millions around the world. But in former British colonies and beyond, it's also reopened the conversation about the legacy of colonialism. This story DW News posted on Twitter about a woman who was tortured during Kenya's struggle for independence from British rule gained millions of views in the hours after the news of the British monarch's death. So this is clearly a conversation some people want to have, but others have questioned the timing. To that, one Twitter user asked, when is the appropriate time to talk about the negative impact of colonialism? Another said, black and brown people around the world who were subject to horrendous cruelties and economic deprivation under British colonialism are allowed to have feelings about Queen Elizabeth. After all, they were her subjects too. Then there's this take by the legal scholar Melissa Murray, who pointed out that Queen Elizabeth was also respected by people in former colonies. I come from a former colony and I admired Queen Elizabeth. I don't want to dance in her grave. In fact, I probably want to put flowers on it. But the inconvenient truth is that she inherited and presided over an institution that enriched itself by stealing from, killing and oppressing other people. And those injustices and atrocities have not fully been atoned for.